Hey there, good morning. It's morning for me, might not be for you at this point. But anyways, so I wanted to tell you, I saw a scorpion yesterday and scorpions are not my forte. Scorpions really freak me out. It sent me into panic mode. We all have our fears. Everyone has different fears. Some people have similar fears. Minor scorpions and very large spiders and they create a lot of panic. But what I learned from this experience was one, how we are strong co-creators in our life, and two, also being resourceful. And I kind of wanted to chat about that today. So yesterday I'm on the phone with this friend who actually has been on the phone with me before when I saw a scorpion. And I see these things few and far between, but somehow she happened to be on the phone twice with me when I see one. And let me tell you, I realized over the past years, I have come a long way <laughs> since the first time this happened. The first time this happened, I went into a panic attack and was so scared of this small bug that I consider a dragon. I'm pretty sure I actually see them breathe fire occasionally. But anyways, um, and this time actually, I was in a panic mode, but also a little, a little more peaceful than the last time that I was able to... Um, you know, there's a meme that says, I saw a spider. I think I took care of it and whole house is on fire. That's the kind of panic mode I felt like I experienced the first time. But this panic mode was more of like where I could kind of think it through, which is interesting because it gives you the perspective of once you've experienced something, you start to be able to see it through differently when it happens again. And luckily she stayed on the phone with me and I think she probably noticed how I reacted was a little different or at least a little better than the first time. Maybe she didn't, but I did. So the what actually was interesting is the night before I had a very good friend that I haven't seen in a long time. And she had come over, she's from out of town and we were chatting and I was saying, talking about scorpions. For some reason it came up, you know, you, you catching up, random things come up. So we're talking and I was saying how I have been so fortunate in the house that I'm living in now to not have seen a scorpion without someone there to take care of it. And what do you know, lo and behold, the next, the very next morning, I see one sitting on the floor where I usually do my morning meditations. And he's just hanging out. Um, and I thought it was interesting because we don't always realize how strong of creators we are and in telling her that I hadn't seen one by myself in this house um I think actually co-create you know that created it showing up at my house it was a challenge I needed to experience and it was also a challenge that I needed to experience to see how resourceful I was able to be and what wound up happening is my neighbor's husband came in actually he saved it he took it outside and put it in a bush far far away which I'm glad that that scorpion better not come back. I think it's really cool. We, also, we oftentimes forget the strengths that we have and the strengths that we have in generating things in our life. And a lot of times we might fixate on the things that are negative that we generate in our lives, but those things are meant to be lessons for us. Those things are meant to teach us new things. Now, granted, me doing this video, I'm really, or you know, me doing this chat on it, I'm really hoping that I don't generate another experience like this, but it helps you see how you level up, how you transition from the panic attacks to transitioning to, I'm gonna figure this out. And that happens all the time. And that's you being tested on how you approach something. It could be anything. It could be, you know, say you start out in business and you have no idea how to handle something and a big chaotic moment comes up and you kind of freak out. But as you get further into business, that same moment may come up and you might panic a little, but you handle it differently. You know how to handle it and it turns out better because then it's kind of like you walk through it more easily. Um, Strangely enough, when it comes to scorpions, I'm the one who's seen them every single time in the house. So I don't know what that means exactly, but I have read um, the spiritual part of scorpions is actually like great transformation. So when you see one, it's actually a good thing. Um, it's kind of like a sign that something big is happening. You're transforming into something new. So 
that I also wanted to pair with how a lot of times when we panic and go into panic mode, we're creating that future for ourselves. We're creating the fear from ourselves of something that hasn't happened because that future might not be so bad. I might have been able to remove the scorpion myself, demolish the scorpion myself, not light the fire the house on fire doing so but you know i might have been able to do this all myself and next time i might be able to do it myself i want you to think of that for yourself i want you to think about how how can you handle these situations that blow up in your life instead of kind of sitting in the vibe of i don't know what to do and i'm scared i don't know what to do and i'm nervous about what will happen when i make a choice um i want you to see yourself as I'm being tested, I'm learning a lesson, and I'm growing from this. Because when you realize that, when you take it in a different perspective, you handle it differently. And that's such a huge thing. It gives you so much empowerment to realize, for one reason, I generated this. For two reasons, I'm going to work my way through this. I'm being challenged on how to work my way through this. I'm being challenged on how to, you know, up level to the next level because it's it's like the opposite of peel the onion where you're peeling off your different layers to learn things it's almost like you're you're building those layers you're building layer by layer by layer of leveling up into new energy platforms where you are starting to be able to handle things differently kind of like in a business you know a business that has an income of like five thousand a month is going to be run totally different than a business that's making fifty thousand a month because you need different resources for each thing. And you know, the chaos that comes up as your business grows into a 50,000 a month business, you start to work through and you want to be able to work through it as seeing things as challenges and lessons versus that kind of like sense of panic. Because even with the panic, you still work through it, but you, it, you just feel more frazzled, you know, you get in, you snowball into that, that um, kind of like a negative mindset of, okay, well, where am I going to go with this now? You know, and that frazzled feeling, whereas if you approach as, okay, this is a challenge, I need to learn to get to the next level in my business. This is a challenge for me to step it up. You know, this is a challenge. This is my edge. You're kind of pushed to the edge to move forward. I, I've definitely felt that in my business. I've definitely felt that push towards the edge where you learn how to be resourceful and bring in new resources so that you can make a better business, say. It, really anything in your life. When you get pushed to that edge and you start learning how to shift in how you either build your resources or approach the problem, approach what the challenge is, then you start learning differently you start approaching it differently with that perspective I want you to think about something that is happening in your life like actually even think about an old challenge that patterned into a recent challenge because oftentimes we have these patterns you know you have this old challenge so my old challenge was the scorpion that I saw and actually many years before that the first scorpion I saw I had full-blown panic attack um, so then the second time when I was on the phone with my friend, I was able to handle it myself with a panic attack, or at least a lot milder of one. And then the third time I was able to navigate through my resources. So there was a pattern on how that was my leveling up with a scorpion situation. This can play out in your life. So consider a pattern of something that it likely could come up like say every five to seven years because we tend to kind of renew and reshift and transition into a pretty new season of our life sometimes, five to seven years. Like, um, I forget what it is, but it's something to do with how, it's kind of like in a relationship, they call it like the seven year itch, but it's like where every relationship, usually, usually every seven years, there's kind of like a big thing that might come up where you reassess your relationship and have some new challenges, but it's kind of that same idea. So think about something that's patterned in your life. Think about how you approached it each time and how it might have changed. And then 
think about how you can empower yourself for the next time you see a similar challenge come up, how you can be mindful of what is going on the next time it comes up because it's still going to, it might not still come up. You might actually work through it where that doesn't phase you anymore. If it comes up again, you'll know, you'll be empowered to embrace that more as a learning experience. So in my case, I might still be freaked out by scorpions when I see one again, but maybe I'll be more peaceful. Um, I actually don't know how that would turn out. This one turned out a little glass, um, glass pan over him so I could see him and he couldn't get away until I had help, as opposed to just stomping a boot into the floor hoping he doesn't escape because it is good that he got released into a bush and hopefully does not return to my house. So. I want you to take that into consideration. I want you to take take into consideration how when you do go into that full-blown panic attack or just that panic mode, that fearful mode, you're worrying about something that hasn't happened. So in my case, it's like, how do I get rid of the scorpion? And I'm worried about no matter how close I get to it, it's going to sting me. Well, realistically, unless I probably pick it up, it's not going to sting me. You know, it's gonna try and run from me. It's probably more scared of me I don't know if it's more scared of me than I was a bit, but it still wants to get away. It still knows there's something bigger than it and it wants to escape. To me, no matter what I do, I'm scared that it will jump at me, run and sting, run at me, sting, you know, sting me, things like that. And I say that because that's a very illogical fear, but that's what captivates my mind when it happens. So when something happens for you, consider what captivates your mind when it happens and how you're fearful of something that hasn't happened in the future. And fear is something that we're taught. Fear is something that for some reason, at some point in our life, it's built up within us. Um, usually it's built up for a survival instinct. Your brain's like, oh, this happened, I don't like it, let's survive. I'm gonna be scared of this so that I can make it go away as quickly as possible. Teach your brain to embrace the challenge. Teach your brain that you're going to work through this and you're going to come through it and you're going to prevail and then you're gonna wake up breathing tomorrow. You're gonna wake up, you know, continuing your day tomorrow. Um, so, I also want you to consider what a strong creator you are. In my case, I created the situation I literally just said had not happened at this house. Um, sometimes it's not that fast. Sometimes it shows up in different ways. Uh, but when you start realizing what a strong creator you are in your life, you start becoming more mindful of the things you would like to create. So one of the things actually when I first started learning about say manifesting co-creation when I very very first heard about it I was in college and I was talking to a good friend and I remember being told you know he was explaining the book The Secret and I didn't quite get it it was like when you really visualize something in your mind like say a parking space because where we were at in the college there's never parking visualize the parking space visualize the feelings visualize you know driving in there and parking and I didn't really get it at the time and it came back finally came back came back and then you know it resonated and the interesting thing is literally every time I go somewhere with no parking I usually get a really good parking space and I'm like I totally learned how to create my parking space and in the rare moment that I don't I'm like okay well I just need to get that walk in I need to you know take a little more time getting to the store it very rarely happens but it does those little things, when you start looking at your life of, oh, I created this, or oh, I created this, I generated this, it's some, you generate it, one, to learn, but one, also because that is something you would like to generate in your life and draw into your life, and you've learned how to do it, and now you can be more mindful of it. So think about things you would like to generate in your life. Think about things that you have. The more you realize what you have generated, the more you're able to be mindful of generating in your future. So those are the things I was thinking about today when I walked downstairs and was worried about seeing another scorpion. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to talk about that because I recognize how it's shifted for me. I recognize powerful creation behind that. And I recognize that my fear, while illogical, it was kind of a fight or flight moment for, from my brain. And it was a fear of something that hadn't even happened. And wrapping yourself in that fear is just a wasted 
you know, a wasted emotion in a way because wrap yourself in, okay, I'm going to get through this and there's going to be a beautiful outcome that I'll have learned from it. Take care and talk soon.